In this video, I'll show you how to sell products by weight in WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are on our demo site and we've got a few products added to our demo site here. Currently we're using our product table plugin to display all the products on our store. And this just makes it more convenient for the customers to quickly find what they want, go ahead and select the appropriate um, size and then they can basically bulk add it to cart by selecting add to cart here or they can select the variation here and then just go ahead and add it to cart okay so whether you use um, this option or not you'll still be able to create um, your products and sell it by weight in woocommerce so here we are on the product page and we can select the weight and we can see the price and change as well. So if we choose 100 grams, for example, we can see the price is $3.5 and we can just add it to basket and check out. Okay, so if you wanna create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store using this user-friendly design, then the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com. Go ahead and download the WooSuite product table plugin. Once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard and I'll leave the link in the description below. Okay, so assuming you've downloaded the WooSuite product table plugin for that user-friendly design, then you just wanna go ahead and upload the plugin. So you go plugins, add new, upload and install the plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this WooSuite menu here, activate your license key, then it'll automatically redirect you to this add-on section where you can enable the product table plugin, which we've got already enabled here. So how we're going to structure this is we're going to go ahead and create the sizing for our product, meaning um, 100 grams, 250 grams, 1 kg and so on. OK, and then we'll go ahead and create our product and then we'll go ahead and optimize um, the ordering process for our customers. OK, so now let's go ahead and create um, the attributes for our sizing. So we'll go um, products and then attributes. OK, and then we'll just create a new attribute here. We'll name this one weight. So I've already created it here. Um, so I'll just do another test run. OK, so I'm just going to say weight two, And I'm going to delete this shortly because I've already got it here. OK, so we'll just click add attribute. OK, and our attributes been added here. And then we'll just go ahead and click configure terms. OK, and then here we can go ahead and add um, our attribute terms such as um, 100 gram for example, and 250 grams, um, one kg. Okay, and I'm gonna leave it here for now. Okay, as I said, I've already got this um, added um, onto our store, so we don't need this. I'm, I'm just doing it just to show you the process. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and delete this weight too, since we've already got it here, okay? So now the next step, we're gonna actually go ahead and create our products and assign the pricing by weight, okay? So I'm going to navigate to all products. OK, and I've already got a few products onto our store just to save time. I'm going to actually go ahead and duplicate this product. In your case, you'll just click add new. OK, so now we will edit this product. So I'll create a new one. So here we just add our product name then we'll add our product image. OK, so we just upload our product image. Select image. We'll go ahead and choose the category. It's not a nut, but we'll leave it as this for now. And then you can go ahead and add any product tags as well. We can add a short description. We can also add um, a standard description here as well. But I'm using the short description for this video. OK, and then finally, where it says product data, we're going to choose a variable product here. So usually it's single product, but we'll go ahead and choose a variable product. OK, so we'll navigate to attributes and then from here, we'll go ahead and select our weight attribute, which we created. Then I'm going to go ahead and click add. And here we can choose all the weight that we want to add for this particular product. So we can see, so we're selling this product in um, 100 grams bundle, 250 and 1 kg, for example. OK, sorry, that 100, that 1 kg didn't add. OK, so we'll add it here and then here we'll just enable this option where it says use for variation Then we'll click save attributes. OK, now we'll navigate to where it says variations and then here we'll go ahead and select create variation from all attributes. So we'll just hit go. OK, and free variance has been added. So we've got our 100 gram product here. We can add a image. OK, 
okay so this is optional it's up to you and we can add a price for this one so we can say three point five dollars three dollars fifty and um, for the weight we can say this is our 100 gram one right so we'll say 0 0.1 since it's in kg so that's 100 grams okay and then we can actually enable our stock management so we can say we've got um, eight of this particular sizing and then we can just go through and do the same for these two as well okay so i'll add a price here we'll add the weight this is one kg so we'll just add one kg here um, 300 grams we'll go ahead and add 15 dollars we'll add the weight 0 0.5 for 500 grams stock management let's say we've got four and we'll enable stock management for this as well and then we'll say we've got 55 okay so now we'll just go ahead and hit save changes and then we'll go ahead and publish this product okay so now when we view the product right we can choose the weight and we can choose 100 grams which is three dollars fifty or one kg or 250 grams okay so in the back end i've just noticed i thought this was 500 grams and when we edited it so we just need to go ahead and change this okay so we'll navigate back to variations and then here we'll say 0 0.25 and then we'll edit the price as well to just say seven dollars fifty Okay, save changes and then we'll update this okay and if you wanted you can leave it here but again as i said i want to um, improve the ordering experience for our customers so if you can imagine a customer visiting your store and maybe let's say they wanted to buy um, some pumpkin seeds some banana chips and some other stuff that's a lot of clicks so they'll have to navigate to the shop page click on this product choose their options add it to cart navigate back again to the shop page um click on the product choose the option add it to cart and so on so it's, it's just long and tedious so it makes sense to just speed it up for our customers so this is where the we suite and um, product table comes in so we're going to actually go ahead and configure that now okay so we'll head back over to our dashboard then we'll navigate to we suite and then product table okay and then we'll go ahead and create a new product table so we'll just click add new table okay so we'll just give this one a name so we can just say um shop page okay it's just for internal purposes so i'm naming my shop page because we're going to display this um product table layout on our shop page okay so now here where it says quick order form we just want to make sure this is set to select a page um okay so now we'll navigate down to order form information we'll go ahead and add our columns so if we check our demo we've got a few different columns so we've got the product image the product name product category the product weight price and our add to cart option so we'll go ahead and replicate this okay so we'll just add our columns so we'll add the product image we'll add the product name we'll add the product um, category we'll go ahead and add um, we'll add the product weight so we'll use this custom data here select the pencil icon in data source select custom taxonomy and then go ahead and select product weight go ahead and update it and then we'll x this off and now we'll add the product price and the add to cart button as well okay so where it says name we're going to actually rename this to say um product okay so we'll rename this column to say product instead of name it makes more sense to customers okay then we'll x this off okay and then for the image size i just want to go ahead and increase the size so this is the width in pixel so we'll say 100 pixel by 100 pixel we'll enable lightbox and that's it for this section so we'll navigate to bulk add to cart we'll enable the buy now button and also the checkbox button as well and we'll enable the ajax add to cart and will allow customers to choose the quantities um, directly on the shop page as well so now we'll for the variation settings we'll allow customers to select um, the sizing via a drop down okay and for this add selected position we'll display it um, above and below the table so just to clarify it's this button here so we're displaying it above and below the table okay and we can rename um, that text there as well for order form control 
we can go ahead and where it says product filters, we can set this based on um, our columns. We can also add custom filters as well, but we'll just leave it like this for now. We'll allow customers to reset their selection. And I think that's it. That's all the changes we'll do for now. We can customize the design so it matches the style of your theme and site. Um, bulk variation, we'll leave that. Performance settings, we'll also leave that um, as default. So we'll just save changes and then we'll navigate back over to our general settings. Okay, and then here where it says shop page, we're gonna go ahead and select the new product table, which we just created, which we named shop page. And I'm gonna set it um, as our default shop page, um, category page, and also tag page as well. So we'll save changes. Okay, and then when we refresh this page, we should see our new product table design. Okay, and now we can see our product weight. So we can see the product image, product name, the product category. We can see the product weight, price, and then we can quickly choose the weight that we want and then just add it to cart, okay? It, so it's a much more streamlined user experience. Customers can also quickly filter um, the product they want. As you can see, that was instant. They can do the same for the weight as well and they can quickly search as well. Okay, so it reduces the amount of time um, a customer has to click through and find the particular product that they want. So that's how you sell products by weight in WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.